right, today on the channel, the latest cool toy that we'll be taking a look at is the Jurassic Park Transformers collaboration. This is a 2021 Amazon exclusive. Pre-ordered this a couple months ago. It's kind of got a steep price, over $100, but I'm a Jurassic Park fan, I'm a Transformers fan, so they got me hook, line, and sinker. I'm a sucker for both of these. What essentially we do have here is a repainted version of Tyrannicon Rex and a brand new Autobot JP93, obviously standing for Jurassic Park 93. But let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging, obviously heavily influenced with Jurassic Park. We got the Jurassic Park logo there, the collaboration logo there in the top left-hand corner, your open window box display. Now, I do love that they put the, you know, the Tyrannosaurus Rex stomping on the Explorer here, similar to in the movie. However, don't get your hopes up. You're not getting two vehicles. That's just a piece of cardboard. The JP93 is right there. On the side, we've got our Jurassic Park logo. Oh, Rexy there, getting ready to tear down the electric fence, showing the 10,000 volts. On the back, we've got the big Tyrannosaurus Rex footprint in the mud, and then we've got a little brief description of the characters and the collaborations there. So let's go ahead and get them out of the box and check them out up close and personal. One cool little Easter egg I gotta tell you about right now is on the side of the box, we actually have dinosaur fossils. Uh, you can kind of hardly see it in the light right here, but I'll show you a different shot of it. But it's really cool. And we also got Mr. DNA. I thought that was a nice little touch that they put that on the inside of the packaging. Inside the box, of course, you'll get your transformation instructions showing you how to transform Autobot JP-93 and Tyrannicon Rex back from vehicle slash dinosaur mode into robot mode. Uh, obviously, Tyrannicon Rex, if you're not familiar with at this point, has been released numerous times uh, as of even recently, uh, namely with the Beast Wars. Essentially, this is the exact same figure with a slightly different head and just different paint scheme altogether. It is a awesome looking figure. I will give them that, so I'm actually okay with them uh, reissuing and re-releasing that, so to speak. I mean, obviously it makes sense. Tyrannosaurus Rex going with Jurassic Park. I mean, it's just a no-brainer slam dunk. I like the paintwork we've got here. So we got the light brown cascading into the darker brown, into the very dark brown on the stripes there. Nice detail with, you know, the scales. Paint job on the underside is just as equally well done. We got, again, the khaki color underside of the belly that goes in, transitions into the lighter, brown into the darker brown up top the face on this is fantastic definitely looks like a you know a classic t-rex and we even got the pupils of the eyes painted so that's a nice little feature jaw does open quite a bit so you get that ferocious roar individual teeth painted everything looks nice there no out of the line works um, poor rexy's got quite a bit of orthodontistry uh needs there because it's got a massive gap in the front tooth there but you know that's I guess, normal for a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Who am I to judge a Tyrannosaurus Rex for not having proper um, orthodontic work back in the prehistoric ages? So, nice paint around the eyes with a dark black. Nice smoky eye shadow for sexy Rexy here, but not going to spend a whole lot of time on this figure. I mean, like I said, it is a repaint and essentially just a reissue of a figure we've already got earlier uh, as of in the last year or so. So let's move on to JP 93, completely new vehicle, completely new transforming Autobot obviously has the classic Ford Explorer Jurassic Park vehicle from the movie with the iconic jungle print on it. So you got the Jurassic Park logo on both sides of the door Got the Jurassic Park logo on the hood there, as well as the red stripes, red top, clear canopy there and everything. And it even has a gun. So JP 93 comes with this weapon. In vehicle mode, you're going to put it upside down, you know, put this little notch there. There you go. Now you've got the gun sitting on the roof there of JP-93 in vehicle mode. But obviously this gun is meant to symbolize and, you know, be a nice little touch. Uh, tip of the cap, so to speak, with Robert Muldoon's hunting uh, shotgun that he has in the movie when he's going after the raptors. So, um, very, very cool stuff. I love that they included that and made it look just like the original shotgun from the movie. Excellent, excellent touch. So let's go ahead and transform JP-93 and see what he looks like in robot mode since we already know what Tyrannicon Rex looks like. In and here we have JP-93 in robot mode. Very simple transformation. Uh, it's actually pretty intuitive. I doubt many people will even have to look at the instruction booklet to find out how to transform him. Uh, I was pretty pleased with it. Doesn't have any crazy wobbly legs or anything like that, which... Uh, smaller figures like this of this scale um, typically have that wonky leg hip issue. Um, so excited to see. I don't have that issue, at least not on this figure. 
Nice little Jurassic Park logo visible on the chest piece and obviously the brush guard doubles as his chest guard, which is a nice touch. Got his shoulders sitting here are the tire and the wheel well. Got just simple ball joints of the elbows. Again, not super loose joints, so I'm excited about that. One super nice touch that I absolutely love about this. Again, we mentioned it earlier in vehicle mode, but this shotgun. He even got a nice little ranger hat there for his helmet. So a nice little homage and uh, tip of the cat, no pun intended, to uh, Muldoon again. So very nice touches all around. I like that we can see uh, the Jurassic Park doors bear kind of like his wings. But overall, super simple transformation, easy to do. Pretty small figure. Let's go ahead and get the tape measure out in robot mode. Yep, right at that six inch mark. So not a huge figure. Like I said, you got Tyrannicon Rex, you got JP93, which is 100% the new figure in the bundle. $100 price point is pretty steep, obviously, especially considering this is, uh, you know, not a bunch of die cast parts or anything, it's just plastic. And this is essentially a repaint with a new head uh, for Tyrannicon Rex. But overall, I mean, if you're a Transformers fan and Jurassic Park fan, I mean, this is a bit of a no brainer. If you're interested in picking up this two pack, I'll go ahead and put a product link down in the video description box below. And that does it for this video review. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.